Hello everybody and welcome back to Cities, Skylines, and the region of Knight's Gauntlet. And we're looking over the newly constructed uh, I-70 US-24 interchange. I did a little bit of tweaking between episodes here. Uh, I noticed uh, some of the ramps. Uh, I had left a one-way road as opposed to a highway. Some of the ramps were clipping. Uh, Telegraph Road was way too high underneath all of this, so uh, vehicles were actually clipping into the bottom of I-70, the overpass there. Um, so I did a little bit of work in tweaking, but on the whole, I didn't really change anything on it. Not a lot of traffic using it at the moment, but there's really no reason for any traffic to use it. <coughs> Excuse me, because I-70 um, really doesn't serve much at this point out here. Uh, you know, if they want to get to Cleveland, they would just stay on, uh, whatever this is. I have never did name this segment of road, did I? Um, yeah, I never did name that segment of road. So, anyhow, um, we, enough about that interchange. I mean, that took an hour, almost an hour to build that. And it could be a lot better. I'm going to admit, it could be a lot better. But it could also be a lot worse. <laughs> um... I'm happy with it. I'm going to leave it as it is. So we'll see how it holds up once traffic increases. Another thing that I wanted to do, as I mentioned the last episode, was I wanted to get some rural areas out in here. So what I want is just a couple of exits that are, you know, just like little county roads or whatever um, that are there just because they would be there, you know, for the sake of being there type thing. So these literally would be just like little two-lane highways or roads that are going to come from um, this segment of US-24, come over to here, may or may not continue somewhere, but come up into here. But they, uh, I don't know if they're going to connect to US-24. Maybe not. Because then I have to do the Michigan left and everything. Um, but the idea is it's going to be a road that will one day turn into a major road. So I had to also plan ahead that anything along it, I'm going to have to uh, be aware that it needs to expand as it goes along. So where, how would I like to do this? Well, I'm going to have, as in most rural areas, uh, when you have a uh, rural road or whatever, a county road crossing over, um, Okay, I don't know why I've got anarchy enabled already, but uh, it almost always goes over um, the highway. Rarely does it go under the highway, or does the highway go over. It's a lot cheaper to send the little county road over as opposed to sending a massive road over the freeway. Uh, I'm sorry, sending a massive freeway over a tiny road. Gosh, me can speak. Okay, so there we got we're just our little two-lane road that's going to cross over. Now, as soon as I built it, I was thinking, what if that was a, a, a four-lane road just as it crosses over the freeway? Oh, but that's a one-way road. Derp. Let's come back to this. Is there a four-lane? I know there is. I just have to find it. Uh, I just want a four-lane. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. Boom. Okay. So I think crossing over the freeway would be a good spot to have it be a four lane. Leading up to it doesn't have to be. So, And it's not going to be anything fancy. It's just going to be a plain old two lane road. So from here, I'm just going to take it down. And from here, we're going to take it down as well. Boom. OK. Uh, gosh, I did a lot of this last episode, and here we are watching me do this again, right? But, um, let's go ahead, we're going to put in, uh, obviously it wasn't quite as 90 degree as I thought it was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable angle temporarily. There we go. Boom. And then connect up. Doesn't really matter where it connects up. Boom. Okay. I'm going to go... Now I can do angle because I hope at this point it would be the right way. 
This will be the wrong direction. I know that. Uh, it's easier to build it the wrong way and then change it um, using the road tool later. So let's get that to as close to 180 degrees there. And then use this to change the direction back. All right. Um, I am going to make this a two-lane road up here. So as it gets off of the freeway, we're going to make it a two-lane, this segment right here. Okay. Good. That takes care of that side. I've got this part pretty much memorized, right? I mean, I can do this fairly easily. So we're going to use this. We're going to connect up. So about 180, I want to watch that right there, 179.9, 180, oh yeah, 180 to exactly. And it's okay that they don't, they're not perfect. My OCD isn't that terrible. Um, so we want this to be the maximum slope we can make it. And again, 180 degree, as close to it as possible. Boom. And then reverse and upgrade to two lane one way there we go very straightforward very quick to do of course guess what the last thing that we have to do yeah we got to put in uh gotta put in our uh lane arrows and such now the reason i did those outer ones is this stretch of i-70 I took the street lamps off of it, but when I'm approaching an interchange, I'd like to have street lamps, so I'm going to put them there. Okay, interchange completed. Let's go ahead and see how quick I can get this done. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, you really did enjoy watching me build the I-70, I US-24, I should say. So let me say it again. I-70, US-24 interchange, the last episode. It was a challenge, and I'm happy with it, and... I'm hoping it gives you ideas if you play the game as well. Um, the only thing that is a limitation in this game is kind of your imagination. And I get caught up in the details um, sometimes. And it's okay if that's what you enjoy. But also, you know, it's not going to be realistic. It is a simulation. Um, I mentioned before, I am extremely envious of some of the talent that other people have out there. They also uh, have some mods that make the lighting and the terrain and the skybox look so much more realistic. I tell you, you could have the worst looking road layout in the world, um, but with those mods, the realistic lighting and such, your city will, I mean, it will almost look like a photograph. It's amazing some of the mods that are out there. So I'm going to make this come up. Um, same thing. There's no reason why these segments should be lower than what they're entering at. So up. Oh, I guess that one's already there. Good. And then this one should be the same height as this. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, I have a cat in the way. Um, and she just knocked my mouse off the keyboard. Cat playing with a, mar a mouse. Who would have guessed? So. Alright. Um, I mean, I don't have to do this, but there. Alright. I'm going to be a completionist, I guess. So you are going to... That lane has to go that direction. Alright. Um, I probably... Now that I look at this... Probably should... make the approach ramps four lanes as well. Okay. I think that will help. So you're going that way, you're going that way, you are going straight on, and you're going onto the freeway or straight on. And then you can't... Oh no, you can turn, because you can go onto the freeway here. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go around. So... Okay, I already did that. Excellent. So let's come back this way. I can put in this one just for the heck of it. There we go. So you are going this way. You are going this way. No going straight across. 
If you exited the freeway for whatever reason, too bad. You can turn or go straight, and you can go there. Okay. And that takes care of the lane arrows. Excellent. Garnet Bridge. Now let's go ahead and connect that to something. Now I will use just the plain old two-lane road. And we're going to get the curvy wurvy type here. So let's give it uh, figure out where I'm going to connect up to. So Actually, out in the middle of nowhere, they wouldn't be curvy wurvy. They really would kind of be straight. Um, you know, if you drive out in the middle of nowhere. They kind of are straight. Oh, and another thing I want to do. No lights. I want to remember doing that. No lights on this stretch. Okay, we're going to take it almost to Telegraph. What I'll do off camera is I'll create the Michigan left. Because that, as you've seen before, that's a long, arduous process. And I don't know if you want to watch that. So... Uh, I have some freight track up here I could connect. If I do put some farms and such, I could put a freight terminal over there so that they can take their uh, goods to it. Okay, so we got that. Next thing I want to do, we've got these dirt roads. So I'm going to have dirt roads leading off of it. So I'll have a, on this side, I'm going to have a dirt road going this way. Again, they would be straight. Out in the middle of nowhere, they're usually straight. Because they kind of, uh, I don't know, demarked roads or whatever. Now, it isn't impossible, that they, or it isn't unlikely for them to curve whatsoever. I'm also going to put in a... Just a curve, uh, not a curve, a diagonal road. Um, why? I don't know. Okay. And then, right there, okay. Do I really want to, should I have it? Yeah, you know what, I'll do this. So I'll have it cross, and then in the future, this could become a roundabout when it develops a little bit more. Let's see if I actually remember saying that, okay? <laughs> all right, so we got all that. So, uh, last but not least, let's just throw one road in like this and we'll throw in one road like this and we'll connect them up and then we'll have this road go out sort of like to right there okay so the idea being you know these roads do serve something next we need to paint an industrial area so let's go ahead we're going to paint an industry area actually before we do that i need to make this uh some really nice farmland don't i so, unfortunately, what does that mean? It means I have to get rid of all the trees. Because trees and farmland don't agree for whatever reason. Um, what I will do is I'll probably put in some tree lines that segregate or separate. Um, this is also something they learned, I think, during the Dust Bowl, is tree lines also help the wind, cut down on the wind, so that uh, it doesn't blow all the topsoil away. So we want to paint, um, there it is, agriculture. So just go ahead. Yeah, this is cheaty. I don't care. I'm going to do a little cheaty. So, so this is going to be our uh, farm area up here. Down here, not so much. Like right here, not so much. Because this is where the town is going to be. There is going to be a tiny little town there. So, okay. Now let's go ahead and actually paint that farm area, or uh, agricultural area, and the town will be part of it. So what is immediately to the west of Dayton? I don't know what's immediately to the west of Dayton. So we want agricultural, and we need a main building. So the main building, I think it would make sense if it was uh, kind of right here. Although, I'm going to move it a little bit away, because I am planning, like I said, I'm planning that roundabout, so I'll actually put it over here instead. Boom, we've now made this an industry area. Okay, so now let's go ahead, we're going to put down some things for it. Now, everything's unlocked, so not a big deal. What I would really like 
is I want a lot of fields. So large crop fields. Um, and I want them to, I don't want them along the main road. I want them to back these side roads. I might have one or two along the main road there. So we're going to have some large crop fields in there. We'll have one that kind of goes this way. There we go. I said, a, oh, actually, this will work. Yeah, that will work really well. Um, we can have a couple small ones snuck in here. Let's see. Where can I sneak a small one in? I could have a small one right on that corner. I don't mind having one right there. That's okay. Um, actually, I don't mind having... Well, no, I'm not going to do that. It's too symmetrical. I'm trying to make it look a little bit um, non-symmetrical. Crops don't require anything, which is really cool. Um, so they just kind of provide, and that's... Oh, I really should disable anarchy. Yikes. Forgot I had anarchy enabled that entire time. There we go. All right, so that's enough of crop fields. Uh, let's get a little bit of storage. So I have a couple silos scattered about here. Now this is always a problem if you've watched in the past. Silos really are a pain in the ass because they'll just fill. Uh, they they just bring trucks from every darn corner of the earth. Um, but I do want silos to help uh, store some of the crops that are being produced. So we're going to smatter them around just a little bit. Uh, one for every two should be good. So that should be good right there. Okay. So right off the bat, we're going to have a ton of freight trucks coming through here pretty soon. All right. Next, I'd like to get some fruit fields, which are just pretty much... Actually, you know what? No, no fruit fields. Um, pastures. So yeah, moo cows. You got to have moo cows, right? So I have some moo cows. And I'll change these crops for aesthetic later. Let me just get them placed down. And I am doing this very random. I understand that. So. Uh, actually, I could have this one just back up right to that one. And I don't mind that. That's okay. Yep. And yeah, they're going to require, of course, they require crops. So what have we got? We got pigs. Now, these are all going to be cows. All cows out here. This is Indiana and Ohio. So, cows, cows, cows. And then as far as the crops go, um, corn is going to be the primary. Uh, I'm surprised there isn't a soybean. Okay, so the big ones will be corn. Um... The smaller ones will make, like this tiny one, potatoes, will make it wheat. And we'll make the medium one wheat as well. So cotton I don't see as being something that provides uh, to other, you know, that would be a good, not necessarily a crop that you would feed, you know, to your cows. Okay. So, excellent, we got moo cows and such, so, and then here comes the line, the Congo line of tr uh, trucks to fill up those silos. Look at that. It will subside over time. All right, next, I want to get a town put down here. Now, this town, this little downtown area is going to get obliterated because, like I said, this is going to turn into a roundabout in the future, if I actually, you know, remember. So, before I forget, we're going to have a post office out here. I'm going to put it, I'm going to do a little bit of planning. My government services are not going to be near that intersection. 
So things like fire, police, and schools are not going to be near that. I know that's, you know, I'm cheating by doing that, but I know that's going to become a roundabout, and I just don't want to deal with moving all the government services. So we got our post office. We've got our fire station. Uh, let's get our police. We can put the police right across from the fire. Boom. Um, healthcare. I'm not going to deal with healthcare. Well, oh, wait a minute. I, that wasn't police. That was healthcare. Okay, police. Please, please. Okay. We'll put that there in anticipation of having a road between them. Okay. And then a school. So let's put down a school and a high school. And the high school, I think this would be far enough away. Um, oh, I just realized. Oh, no, I can put things along. Good. Because if I upgrade that dirt road... Eh, the school really shouldn't be on a dirt road, though. Let's put it right here. Okay. That roundabout isn't going to be humongous. And I know that's not a word. Anyhow. Um, excellent, we've got that. Oh, look at that. Myrtle Estate has already gone up to level 2. How cool. Okay. Um, yeah, and as you can see, it's really darn busy down here. Let's go ahead. So we're going to have a couple of, you know, tractor supply. Right? Although they're going to be these, like, really high-end things. But tractor supply company. And then we're going to have, um, I don't know. I really don't know what these would be. You know, hardware stores, whatever you would have in a rural area. I think it would be okay to have something right there, right there, right on the corner. Not a 4x4, four four. we'll just make it a 3x3. Three three. Over here, a 3x3 three three and another 3x3. Three three. So this is the downtown commercial area. Oh, I want a separation there. I really do. I don't want huge buildings here. That's why I'm making these only 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two and such. So, because I want this to, I do want it to kind of be a rural area. Okay, next, we are going to need some, you know, people would live out here. So, we would have a couple farmhouses, right? I don't see why you wouldn't have farmhouses. So, make those 2x2 two two and 3x3. Three three. Uh, we'll make this one a 3x3. Three a three. Um, couple other houses. So, not a lot of houses out here whatsoever, to be honest. Right on the corner there, that would be... Actually, we'll put a 4x4 four four there. We'll probably get like a big old modern day house there, but oh well. And then kitty corner from it, we'll have another house. Okay. Across the street, that will give them a neighbor. We'll have a couple here. There we go. And one right there as well. How's that? So, not a lot of population. The idea here isn't to have a lot of population. Um, the idea here is to have, you know, like a, a, a small town, really. Um, okay. So we're doing okay. Yeah, this the, these cows need food. Oddly, they're producing, but they're not getting what they need. Um, but these trucks, it will clear out. It will clear out. Once these silos get to whatever it is that this game fit tries to do. Um, so... Okay. Excellent. So we got all the city services more or less laid out. Not optimal, but that's okay. Just west of Dayton. Super. So what am I going to call this? Now the, the thing is called Myrtle Estates. Um, that makes me think of... So we're going to call the industrial area or the agricultural stuff Matilda Dodge um, I am a 
uh, alma mater, my alma mater is Oakland University, which all the land was donated by Matilda Dodge of the Dodge family. And then they came back and stole that land back from us to build the World Trip uh, headquarters for Chrysler, but anyhow. And then the actual town itself, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it, because I'll have to look at a map. Oh, there we go. I'll have to look at a map and see what is west of uh, Dayton. Now, I know of a town that's out there. Oh, what the heck. We'll just do it then. Um, Selena. I know there's a Selena, Ohio, and it's somewhere out that direction. So, it's west, maybe northwest of Dayton. I'm sure it is, but again, things are not that accurate in this game. All right, super. So we got our little Selena going. As you can see, the trucks have finally stopped arriving. Now it's just they're trying to get the heck out. Um, and they'll just figure themselves out over time. It'll clear out. So we still got some coming in, um, but not that much. No development in the commercial side of things. Not really surprising, considering, of course, um, that uh, the uh, commercial demand is nothing. Um, I'm trying to remember. So I laid down that uh, agricultural. Um, I'm trying to remember when you do zones. There's park industry and that there's a way when you're putting down industry that you can say eh, this is uh um agricultural or this is um you know petroleum and it's not the Uh, gosh, I'm drawing blanks. It's not this. It was somewhere else. I don't think it was in the policies either. But maybe this will grow up to be... Yeah, I like Frank's Fish Sticks. Um, where did I put the other? They haven't built yet. But there was a way to just say, you know, what type of generic industry is in there. So, all right, well, you got some peeps moving in. That's good to see. Uh, one other thing I can do, if I can remember where it's at, uh, is put down, here we go, farm workers barracks. Um, so we can get some, you know, migrant workers, as it were, in, or seasonal. Um, I can't, it's funny, if you've ever driven through rural areas of the Midwest, There'll be a whole bunch of like motels that are kind of more like uh, where your seasonal workers will live, um, because that's unfortunately you know that's where the work is for them. Okay, well there we go. So what is this? Ready to wear limited? Yeah. See, I'm not getting. Oh man, I'm, I'm I it, I can't remember what it was. There is a way to do it. I just don't remember what it was. Um. Oh, well. Okay. It's been so long, I can't... <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, I do have events. At the Expo Center, I have an event coming up today. Well, what do you know? Dayton is getting something over at the Expo Center. Okay. I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch. So that is what time? 7.30 to 10.30, a three-hour event at the Expo Center. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm at 30 minutes. We've got Selena built. And I want to keep these episodes closer to 30 minutes than an hour. I am sorry that the last one went for an hour. I get... I built so slow. Um, I'm not one of those fast builders. So it takes me an hour to actually do something like this interchange over here so but I'm, I'm happy with Selena 
I am happy with it. And what I'll do, folks, so you don't have to watch it and how boring it is. I'll build the Michigan left in here for what is this road? Um, I don't care what it is, Garnet Street. You are now Selena Street. Um, because, of course, you serve this uh, town of Selena. Excellent. So I'm eager to get that interchange built over here. So I'm going to do that, like I said, off camera. So everybody, I will see all of you in the next episode of City Skylines Knight's Gauntlet. Take care and bye.